think of Harlan County, try to describe it in three words. More often than not, you're going to get the same three responses over and over again. Mountains, coal, poor. Unfortunately for us, that last one has become a sort of identity. We stand behind it and we live up to it. Harlan County, Kentucky, one of this country's best known coal mining areas. It is not well known because of the amount of coal it produces. It is blood that has made Harlan County famous. Blood spilled in some of the most violent labor disputes in this country's history. It's backbreaking work, but it's all these men know how to do, and most of them have been doing it for years. Coal is Harlan County. There is no other industry and few other jobs. Barbara Koppel came in and made the documentary, Harlan County, USA. It even won an Oscar. I accept this award on the behalf of the miners of Harlan County who took us into their homes, trusted us, and shared their love with us. And it is their commitment and loyalty which is honored here tonight. Thank you very much. Judge Executive Dan Mosley recognizes the many problems and challenges that have plagued the county because of its reliance on coal mining. How have things changed for workers, in particular coal miners, over the past 40 years? Um, a lot. Uh, you know, think from the standpoint of the actual mining industry, over the last 40 years, you've seen a lot of new technology integ integrated into the mining industry. Uh, which has not only also changed what a miner actually does, but it's also reduced the need for as many miners as there used to be. What's the current economic divide between rich and poor in the county? How severe is it? Uh, it's a huge gap. Um, it's a, it is a very severe divide. Um, and like I said, it is a huge gap. I'm doing research... I found a bunch of articles written by like sociologists, mm -hmm. economists, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. And a lot of them called us the third world of the United States. Now, in your opinion, are we the third world of the United States? Um, in some regards, I can see where people have felt like that we are the third world of the United States. Um, I don't completely agree with that just because I recognize what we're able to do from not only an economic perspective uh, with one of the, we are the engine of, we, we, we built America. Mm -hmm. We provided coal so that they could make the steel during the wars. Um, we, uh, you know, this county and this region has had a, a very legible imprint on America right now probably the biggest word that that would describe Harlan County would be hungry. Harlan County had a nearly 20 percent unemployment rate in 2013 compared to the United States at just over 7 percent. The county's median household income is $25,186. A McDonald's general manager makes $25,269 a year. Nick Sturgill, manager of Portal 31 Mine Tours, has deep family roots in the coal mining industry. This place would have never, it, it wouldn't have been anything had it not been for coal. My dad was at Brookside in the 70s. He was also at Stearns in the 70s. He was at Pittston in 89. People today, it's, in, in my opinion, it's a lost generational thing. It's, to me, people's work, it, to, it's not worth fighting for them, but we're a proud people, we're smart people, we're hardworking people, and I don't in any way think that we're third world, in no way, shape, or form. 100 years ago, companies came in and began mining the coal. They disrupted hundreds of years of peace and simplicity. They divided us into owners and workers. We were no longer all equals. Harlan County is marred by economic problems. We have embraced a culture that purposely sets us apart from the rest of mainstream America. In doing this, we've fallen behind. Globalization has brought new technology, advancements, and ideas to the forefront of society. Derek Middleton is a former coal miner whose father died 
of complications that were a result of many years of working in the coal mines. What were the conditions like working in the mines? Well, the condition in the mines, well, they were poor. I mean, it, it, it's all on the, you know, on the owner, you know, the, I, they're there to make money. They're, they're not there to help you in any way. They don't care as long as they make their money. How do you feel about the next generation going into the coal mining industry? I don't, I, the, 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 the newer generation, you know, that, that most of them probably their parents are probably my age or older and, and, and they seen dad, dad made good money and it, it's fast, easy money, you ain't gotta go to college, you, have, you, you don't have to do none of that, you're making big money, and that's what they see, and I hate that for them. And, and guys my age, you know, with the mines, yeah, they kinda come back, and, uh, but some of them went on to other careers, but, but they, they had to take months off to train for them careers, a lot of them went to be linemen. And then there's a lot of them that become drug addicts and, and have lost everything. It, it's a shame, really. I mean, I've seen some guys that was real well off now don't even have a house, don't even have a car. So I, I, I don't want to see the newer generation go, go into the mining. In your opinion, are we the third world of the United States? Most definitely. Describe Harlan County in one word. Mm. Hard. Tough. It is 2018. The world is moving at a faster pace than ever before. Technology is advancing to limits only imagined in science fiction. Harlan County still sits quietly in the mountains while most of its people live lives of mediocrity. Unfortunately, pride seems to be a blinder that blocks their people's vision of what life could be. We deserve to live just as well as the rest of the country especially when considering the work we have put into it. Regardless, we are only stopping ourselves. We may never live the lap of luxury, but we seem fine with that. We are a strong people. No matter what comes our way, the people of Harlan County will survive. Who knows, maybe we are better prepared for the future than anyone else.